Hey everyone, how are you? Happy Friday. Mwah. I hope everyone's having a great day. I am the Devious Diva and happy weekend. This is my favorite day of all days. Friday is always the best. I love all days that end in Y. I drink in all days that end in Y. I just like to have a good time. Anyway, I am giving you two more hidden gems this week and number eight on my list for a hidden gem is the movie Trog from 1970. It stars my favorite actress that I've been covering lately with Whatever Happened to Baby Jane and Straight Jacket, Joan Crawford. This is her final appearance in a film and based on things that have been written about her and also seeing the miniseries Feud. This was at a time in her life where she was really coming to her end at the end of her rope of her acting career. Um, she had downsized from living in California Mansion to New York and she was offered a lot of B-list type movies. In the case of Whatever Happened to Baby Jane back in the early 60s, she struggled with that one. She was an A-lister who didn't want to be in something like a horror film, something that was a B-movie, uh, but it was well worth her while and it was a big success. And Straight Jacket wasn't too bad either. Um, as far as this movie, Trog from 1970, which is her final film, this came at a time where, as I was saying, she downsized, she sold off everything, she's getting older, uh, she was having a lot of dental problems, she had decided to remove all of her back teeth so she could have a thinner face, more of a sunken in curvature. A lot of actresses and young women at the time were doing that, but of course things like that would cause infection and uh, bone loss. So she was spitting up blood, she wasn't feeling too well, and a couple of years later she decided she didn't want to be in the public eye, period. Uh, she didn't think she looked good enough, she was aging, she had cancer and ultimately died in the uh, mid-70s. But I just really want to talk about Trog. I would like to say though, first and foremost, as far as finding this movie, you can pay for it or rent it on YouTube or Amazon Prime, but I've yet to see it free. And if I find it, I always will tell you guys. Um, this movie runs for an hour and 33 minutes. I'll give you the brief synopsis and then tell you why I think it's a hidden gem. So an anthropologist, Joan Crawford, works with her subject, an Ice Age troglite. Trog, trogolite? I might butcher that one. I can't say it right. But Trog, <laughs> the missing link. That was going to be the original title. Uh, and they find him in a cave in England. Um, and it was one of 100 most enjoyable bad movies. And there's a lot of bad movies that are fun and enjoyable. And this is one of them. After seeing uh, the few miniseries and finding out about Trog, I did find it free at the time, I want to say on YouTube, but this goes back probably a year ago. And I had some cocktails in me, so that always helps. And I just remember cracking up. I thought it was so cheesy and funny. It was so beneath her, but it was hilarious. Um, it's really just a guy dressed in an ape costume that just kind of grunts and is like, burr, burr, you know, like how a caveman would be. And she's just loving and caring. And she's a scientist that's trying to get him to learn to communicate and understand basic skills. Not that he's ever going to be able to speak, but that is her goal. And they have to obviously keep him caged up. He can't just be let loose onto the world. They don't know his capability. He does kill people in the beginning. There are men that go through the cave that he's in and he does murder them. So they know that he's dangerous and he has to be encapsulated. But it, there's so many funny mo moments of the movie. And I think to myself when I watch it, oh my God, there's so many people I know that are a trog. And I don't mean they look like an ape. I just mean so dumb and simplistic that are just like, rawr, rawr. you know, there's one part she's trying to get Trog to respond to different things, different objects. And there's this little wind up doll, you know, the old school, you wind it up and then it moves towards you. And, you know, she's just sitting there delighted that he's turning his head and examining this doll. And she's like, oh, look, he understands. And I'm just like, oh, my God, that's like half the people I've ever worked with, went to school with. They're so primitive that if they saw a wind up toy, they would just sit there in awe and be like, a dur, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my whole life. So having had cocktails, I was like, this is so cheesy, but funny. Um, 
when you watch the movie, uh, this character or this being, this troglodyte, is actually very kind and sweet type of creature. He's kind of a cross between man and ape. And you start to feel sorry for him because he's imprisoned. And there is a gentleman in it played by Michael Gaw. And for people who don't know who that is, he went on to play Alfred in the Tim Burton, Michael Keaton Batman movies. And he's in it. And he plays a gentleman who's a businessman who does not like Trog and wants to set him free in hopes that the authorities or some civilian will feel threatened by him and kill him. And he does, in fact, let him out. And there's a lot of different things that happen. I'd rather you see it. Um, I don't even want to give away whether Trog lives or dies. But Trog is actually not a bad creature. He's a fun-loving creature. He is someone that's just afraid of people and doesn't understand a lot of things in society. So I say it's a hidden gem because sure, out of everything I think that this woman, Joan Crawford, has done, Straight Jacket was pretty good. Whatever Happened to Baby Jane is my favorite. And this one is certainly a downgrade from those two movies. But I do think that you'd have a good time with it. I think, once again, it's one of those if you need a good laugh. Of all my hidden gems, I was asked this. Which one's your favorite or the best? For me, it was Pin. It's goofy, it's funny, but it's very obscure. Not a lot of people I interact with in social media, particularly Twitter, had ever heard of it. So I loved finding something no one else knew that I thought was rare and was entertaining and, and was a good horror movie. Uh, in the case of Trog, it's really not that great. It's like, to me, not even a B. It's like a C, D list movie. But I do recommend it because I think that you'd get a kick out of it. I think, once again, if you need a good laugh, or, you know, this is something Bruce Campbell told me uh, when I met him at Rock and Shock in 2019 in Worcester, Mass. He was awesome. He was the headliner. I got a lot of time to, to interact with him, and I got to have my little picture with him. And someday I do want to show you my collectibles. In the background are just my Dollar Tree uh, Halloween decorations, and there's a reason I'm going to be moving. So a lot of things are already packed or in storage, so I don't have a lot of things on display to show. That being said, uh, Bruce Campbell's the one who told me, because I said, you know, I'm frustrated by trying to show people horror films. People who aren't a horror movie buff, they don't want to do it. And he said, well, look at Army of Darkness. He goes, Ash is just being a goof. He goes, don't show them Evil Dead 1 and 2. Show them the comedic side of something that can be a horror movie. That's a great segue into it. So I think that something like Trog would be funny and fun. It's something that you can completely show young kids. There's just nothing scandalous about it. They, you know, it's like Harry and the Hendersons, if you've ever seen that. It's, it's such a, like, family-friendly type of movie and something, you know... I hate saying it this way, but I like to party. I like to have a good time and, and lay back and have fun. And I sometimes I'm looking for what's the next goofy movie and say there's not a new comedy out that's relevant at the time. Trog just, it does it for me. It gets me there. It gets me into my happy, giggly mood. It's something fun. So I'm ranting on and on, but I do think that it's something worth looking at. So that is my hidden gem number eight. Check out Trog from 1970 starring Joan Crawford. And if I do find it anywhere on the internet free, I will let you know. So thanks for watching and I hope that you're having a great day. Bye-bye.